This week, a crypto crash wiped out $1 trillion. This is what occurred. When you purchase a ticket to the crypto circus, you should expect wild, stomach-churning moments. However, the past week's uncertainty has left some crypto believers wondering whether they've been duped. A broad crypto crash on Wednesday wiped out roughly $1 trillion in market cap, a staggering decrease from $2.5 trillion just a week earlier. Bitcoin, which accounts for more than 40% of the global cryptocurrency market, fell 30% to $30,000 on Wednesday, reaching its lowest level since January. By Friday, Bitcoin had recovered somewhat, to about $37,000, still battered by ongoing regulatory issues and well below the all-time high of over $64,000 reached a month ago. While volatility is inherent in the infant cryptocurrency market, the digital assets meteoric rise over the last year has attracted hordes of amateur and skilled investors seeking a fast profit. Many of them take advantage of an upswing and exit, or panic sell when conditions deteriorate, exacerbating gains or losses. This week, a number of factors contributed to an already jittery market, including government alerts about increased regulation and tweets from prominent market mover Elon Musk. What transpired? The crypto market had been particularly shaky for about a week prior to Wednesday's crash. On May 12th, Bitcoin dropped 13% after Elon Musk rescinded Tesla's commitment to accept Bitcoin as payment, citing concerns about Bitcoin's large carbon footprint. Musk exacerbated market anxiety last weekend with a series of apparently conflicting Bitcoin tweets that left investors perplexed. Then came Wednesday's massive crash, as Chinese officials indicated a crackdown on cryptocurrency usage in the nation. China's central bank warned financial institutions and companies not to accept digital currencies as payment or to provide services in exchange for them. The prospect of increased regulation sparked fear, and Bitcoin fell sharply before slightly rebounding and leveling off. Other cryptocurrencies have suffered significant losses, Ethereum plummeted more than 40%, while Dogecoin and Binance lost about 30%. By Thursday, Bitcoin had recovered some of its losses and had returned to levels above $41,000. However, a Friday statement from Chinese officials reiterating the importance of cracking down on cryptocurrency pushed Bitcoin lower. On Friday afternoon, it was trading at about $37,000. Several other cryptocurrencies were also in the red. Concerns about regulation China has long imposed restrictions on cryptocurrency trading within its borders. In 2013, authorities deemed Bitcoin to be a fictitious currency and prohibited financial and payment institutions from using it. Individuals can own and trade cryptocurrencies, but mainland China's major exchanges have been shut down. On the surface, this week's comments reaffirmed China's general mistrust of cryptocurrencies. However, they sent a strong message that Beijing is not about to relinquish control of the market anytime soon. Additionally, authorities are introducing a state-backed digital yuan that will place strict controls on money flows. And it is not limited to China. 
Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell cautioned on Thursday about the dangers that cryptocurrencies could pose to the financial system. Powell also stated that the central bank will release a paper this summer examining the ramifications of the U.S. government creating its own digital currency. A future central bank digital currency could be used in conjunction with, rather than in lieu of, cash and existing private sector digital forms of the dollar, such as deposits at commercial banks, Powell said. The Treasury Department is also focusing on the cryptocurrency room. Officials announced on Thursday that any digital currency transfer valued at $10,000 or more must be reported to the Internal Revenue Service. Cryptocurrency also presents a major detection challenge because it facilitates criminal activity in general, including tax evasion, the Treasury said in a statement. Despite accounting for a relatively small portion of business revenue today, cryptocurrency transactions are likely to grow in importance over the next decade, especially in the presence of a comprehensive financial account reporting regime. Bitcoin was up nearly 6% on Thursday but paired gains following the U.S. officials' remarks, Bloomberg said. Cryptocurrency's Future The week's wild swings put cryptocurrency enthusiasts to the test. True believers take the long view, at the start of 2020, Bitcoin was valued at about $7,000 a coin, meaning it has still increased by more than 400% in that period, even after this week's crash. We all have a tendency to think in terms of day-to-day, week-to-week, William Quigley, managing director of a crypto-focused investment fund, said on Wednesday. However, This is not how the majority of people purchase cryptocurrencies or even stocks. Is it a figment of your imagination? Probably, according to Vitalik Buterin, co-creator of Ethereum. Buterin told CNN Business this week that he was unsurprised by the accident because he has seen it all before. We've already seen at least three of these massive crypto bubbles, he said. And often enough, the reason bubbles burst is that some event occurs that makes it abundantly clear that the technology is not yet available. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, Please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.